Boy, has it been a while. And I'll tell you why it's been a while. After this, I'm going to do, uh, do a little bit of uh, backtracking here to uh, Booster Wave because I forgot to show you guys that spot, or I should say, oh shoot, not Booster Hill. That, that's my mistake. <laughs> because uh, I forgot to show you what opened up in, uh, yeah, 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 I'm going to go with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's my bad. Anyway, the, uh, oh, the camera's actually off a little center. Uh, at Booster Pass, remember in Booster Tower, I pressed the switch which opened something? I don't ask me why I'm over here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go show you what that switch opened. If you go over to this side, whoa, there's a little key there right there. You throw in some spinies down there. Yeah, this, this right here is what opened up. And, uh, yeah. Hold on a sec, there's a hello there. Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, it'll make me stiff at four, if I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, he's one of Boost Booster's henchmen, and he's gonna go down pretty uh, easily with my new handgun item. Slap away, Peach, slap away. That is not sexist at all. <laughs> oh, she only took one, though. That was pretty special right there. That's some surprise she took so little. Yeah, this little area here is basically all that opened up here, and then in the little... Wow, now they'll make me take the training course all over again. Look at them go! And if you go over here, there is a couple of boxes. There's flour, there's a Kiro Kiro Cola, that is an awesome item. Um, what could I throw out here? I'll get rid of a Yoshi cookie, or I should say Yoshi crack. Well, no, um, oh, I got that flour jar I could've used. I'll get rid of a mushroom, because, yeah, that's a lot. I'm gonna get rid of my flour jar right away. <laughs> Anyway, back to why I haven't made parts for a while. See, I took a couple days break as usual, and this is a frog coin, okay. And uh, then Father's Day came along, so I spent time... What happens if you fall off? I forgot what happens. Oh, you just get thrown out. <laughs> well, that works, okay. Well, I took a small break as usual, then Father's Day came around, I spent time with my family, and then we got this massive heat wave of 90 degree weather, so everyone in the neighborhood is using their air conditioners like mad. I don't know if you can you can hear if mine's on, listen. Yeah, well, <laughs> everyone in the neighborhood is using a lot of electricity, so what happens is that the screen kind of like, when, when we get like a low power surge, the screen like squishes together. <laughs> So and that, that's not the kind of quality that I'd want in my video, so I've kind of held off for a few days. So uh, let's, now that I show you what's going on, let's continue on with the game um, to the seaside town. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Dark music! Oh, I also forgot to tell you about some team strategy here. Uh, I remember back when we first started Booster Tower, I was describing that the battle system has gotten really good. Well, now it's gotten even better now that we got five characters. So let me describe to you how you can arrange your characters here into various combinations that might help you at different points in the game. If you switch Mallow with Gino and have Toadstool with Mario, like these uh, two with Mario, you can never switch out Mario, you'll have a team that can heal really well because of Mallow's HP rain and Toadstool's um, group hugs and therapy, whatever. And so you'll have a team that's nearly impervious but will use a lot of magic points. So that's not really usually the team to go because neither Toadstool or, to Toadstool, or I should say Princess Pussy or Mallow can't attack very well. So you should usually have only one healer and Toadstool is the one to the one to go with, so she pretty much completely eliminates Mallow from your team once you get her. She's pretty much broken in this game, so I usually switch uh, Mallow with Gino, and this is a pretty balanced team you've got right here. You've got a magic and uh, straight attacker, which is Gino, a magic user, which is the healer Toadstool, and another balanced character, which is Mario. There's also the option of Mario Toadstool Bowser, which is like the default best team that you can get in the game which I would recommend, but I'm not going to use because it's kind of, I don't know, cheap. I'll switch around characters to show, you, to show you what's going on throughout the game, as I said before. So you got Bowser, which is a super attacker, main attacker, not, not a special attacker, just the regular A button attacker. Then you've got your healer, as I described before, but I'm just going to use Mario Toadstool Geno. So yeah, let's explore the town now that I've discussed a little team strategy. Ooh, what's in the shop? Hey, wh what the heck is going on with these guys here? I'm just a customer. Hey, hey, I'm stuck in him. 
Don't tell me. He wants supplies. I know. Oh, what the heck kind of items are these? Poisons and enemy. Muku muku muku. What? I don't know. <laughs> these bombs are actually pretty good here. You might want to get a uh, fire or ice bomb. Because they really are good. But I think you can get them cheaper later on in Moleville. Uh, so I'm not really going to get any right now. I can get. Thank you very much. Well, there's nothing suspicious in here. It's pretty a normal shop here. Hey guy, how's it going? In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. You'll find a. I mean, there's a. Oh, but you give it. A pirate lives there. His name is Johnson Jones. He isn't very nice. A star has fallen into the sea. The pirate, probably. <laughs> I mean that man. Uh, Jonathan Jones probably has him. He's nasty. Okay, it's a pretty normal shop there. There's nothing going on suspicious. And here's some more shops right here. Hey, he's a guy on top of here. How's it going? You're collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. How would you know that, mister? Wow. Tadpole Pond really does spread its wisdom. Whoops, I didn't mean to go out that door. If you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. You will find the village elder in his house. He is... The most respected person here. Okay, there's nothing there's nothing wrong in here. I don't see why they have some weird music. They keep spinning and spinning. <laughs> I like that little touch they added here with the with the sprites here for the shop uh, things. Yeah. Oh, and you can open these doors and leave them there. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, what's in here? Forgot to check out the inn. This is the inn. You may stay for free. Thank you. Okay. Yay! I'm happy! I can stay for free! Oh, wait, what? Who was that? Someone was standing on the table watching me sleep. Oh, hey, there you are. How, how's it going? <laughs> and let's save our game right here for the heck of it. And moving on along through the town. No battles happening in this part. No, just a lot of dialogue. Oh, uh, wait, isn't there Elder's House up here? Yes, finally. It took you long enough. I am the elder of this village. I got to my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me. And you'll find the star in Jonathan Jones territory. Don't worry, you can beat him. At least I think you can. Hurry and bring back the star. What's up here? Oh, this is uh, one of Frog Fuchsia's tadpole guys. Hello there, you're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. I graduated from Frog Fuchsia's school and now I'm searching for the meaning of life. That's a big red goal he's going for. It's been so quiet around here, it's almost eerie. Is something going on? No, there's nothing going on around here. This is a normal town. It probably doesn't concern me, but you have, if you have any frog coins, I've got some neat items to sell. Yeah, this is where you can use your frog coins. You can get a Sia, which is, allows you to run away from battles for free. That's awesome, actually. You can use this. Oh, and these two question mark items you can use over and over again. Earlier times to start a battle over, that's kind of useless because you use all your items anyway, so you might as well just reset the game. Experience booster doubles experience when equipped. That's nice. Doubles coins and cuts the flower points use in half. Oh, what? Running out.